What would a print-on-demand business owner do in a 14-day quarantine to create a business from nothing all the way to selling t-shirts? That is what I'm gonna tell you in this video. I'm gonna do a timeline of the 14 days, a bit similar to my video yesterday, except this is going to be based solely on print-on-demand. Now, before we get started, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting the bell notification. I think, I think I'm, I'm get like 30% of my subscribers watching, which means 70% of people aren't actually subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and let's get to 10,000 subscribers. And for now, I'm just gonna quickly time-lapse my way through drawing this, and then I'm going to explain the 14-day process of starting a print-on-demand business if you are stuck in quarantine. So this is what it looks like. The bottom is research, the top is going to be ads. Okay, and you've got day one to day 14. Again, very similar to my Amazon one. And what's our line going to look like? Well, ads don't actually happen till, well, about day 13, okay? So day 13 is going to be <clears throat> up here, right? And that's where it's gonna go up. But it's going to be more like that kind of curve. Okay, and the reason why it feels like you're doing research for so long with this is because we want to get every single step ready before we start ads, because we don't want to start spending money on ads unless we are somewhat sure the product is going to be successful, the t-shirt is going to be successful. And also, I just have to say, in England, I don't know where in the world you are, but if you're in England, you can probably relate to this, the whole year we have the worst weather, okay? And then as soon as there's a lockdown, we're stuck inside and the weather's amazing. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't even know, but let's start with day, let's just get into it, all right? We're gonna start with day one, two, I've got my notes here on my, my phone here because I don't wanna miss anything out, but we're gonna do day one to day three, okay? Day one to day three is audience research. What does audience research mean? So a lot of people will get this the wrong way round and they will do design research and niche research before they actually do audience research. And audience research is the most important part because that's telling you whether or not your, your t-shirt has an audience for you to target. Does that make sense? So how does one do audience research? Let me go onto my computer here and I'm actually gonna show you exactly how to do audience research. So what we wanna do is we wanna to go to something called Audience Insights on Facebook, okay? And once we're there, we're gonna actually be able to start doing our research. I've also created this, <clears throat> this spreadsheet in Google Sheets, right, where we will put the niche in, we'll put the targeting keywords in, we'll put the country and the age. For example, if we're doing something in the dog niche, we could do something like dog rescue, okay? And that is considered an audience interest. Now we've got the country United States here, right? We can put more in. I know this isn't loading, it's more because my internet's a bit slow. But basically we can put in a lot more here. So dog rescue, there's gonna be tons of dog rescue places. Like absolutely tons, so you've got 40 to 45,000. And this is for rocket dog rescue. And let me get rid of this one because this is employees. But Rocket Dog Rescue, that seems quite targeted, right? And then you can do tons more like that. So in here, we would do niche dog targeting keywords, Rocket Dog Rescue, country, United States, and age. Well, let's have a look at the age. <clears throat> the age, I would say, only target anything over 10%. So leave out 18 to 24 because it's really low. And you can probably target 25 to 65. So I would put in over here, 25 to 65, okay? Now this is all happening from day one to day three. So what you wanna try and do is try and get maybe 10 different niches, each with maybe five to 10 different keywords, and then the country and the age, okay? So that's, that's the audience research bit. That's day one to day three. Let's go on to day four. Day four to day six is going to be design research, okay? Design research is, well, now that you have a solid audience, you need to have some solid designs. If you don't have good designs, no one's gonna buy anything from you. So <clears throat> that's why design research is absolutely vital, and that's why I give you two whole days to go out and do it. Now, websites you can do it on. Websites, let's go. You can do it on websites like Redbubble. You can do it on websites like Teespring. You can do it on websites like Pinterest. And you can do it on Google, okay? 
Now, hypothetically, let's say that we are going to delve in deeper with the dog niche, right? We could just put in here. Put in dog into red bubble, <clears throat> and then we get some ideas. Right now we can see clothing, we can filter by, let's say we're just gonna sell t-shirts. So filter by clothing, let that load, and then we get some ideas, okay? Now you can do the same thing with Teespring. So do Teespring forward slash discover. And that's where you can do some research on Teespring. So you've got animals here. And then Pinterest, Pinterest is more to get funny ideas. So you would put something like dog funny t-shirt. Now you can see which ones are popular on Teespring by clicking, by uh, sorry, on Pinterest by. That came with the video. By clicking and seeing how many people like it, how many comments there are. So <clears throat> you can actually see how popular they are, right? It doesn't really have that much interest, these kind of t-shirts, but, but you can create a list of t-shirts and what you can do is you can create in your Google Sheets, you can go and create another sheet and do, for example, you can call this dog, slow dog, or just gonna call it dog ideas. And then you can do t-shirt text Make that bigger. Oop, I didn't want to get bigger for some reason. So there we go. And now we can come up with some funny, I don't know, pug life. And then we can come up with a whole bunch of different t-shirt design ideas, basically. Okay, now that is day four to day Eight. Sorry, I don't know why I said I only gave you two days for this. I give you four days for this because I want you to try and create designs for every single one of your niches. So let's say you have 10 niches because we said about get about 10 niches in three days and then create maybe three designs for each niche. So that's 30 designs to create. Now, in terms of what to search on Google, it's very similar to um, as to what you're searching on Pinterest. You can just type in dog funny t-shirt, dog t-shirt quote dog motivational t-shirt or dog joke t-shirt, anything like that, obviously with your niche, right? That is the research phase. Day nine and day 10 is design creation, okay? Design creation is, you can use pretty much, you can use Canva, you can use Photoshop, you can use, oh, there's so many, there's um, that free one, I forgot what it's called, GIMP. You can use GIMP, that's what it's called. And if you're not able to design, you can use 99designs, you can use Fiverr, you can use Upwork to outsource your designs, or outsource the work and actually get people to design for you. Now, <clears throat> I have actually created a video on how to design a t-shirt and I'll, if I remember, I'll link it over here and you can actually go and see me design an exact t-shirt in Photoshop. So you can actually go and see if you wanna try and figure it out yourself. But if you don't use one of those three websites and that's why I give you two days because a lot of those websites will have a two day turnaround time. So you've got the ninth day and the 10th day. Our aim for these two days are going to be with our 10 niches to try and get two designs per niche minimum. If you can do more then brilliant. If you can't do more then whatever. But two designs per niche means that by the end of day 10, you will have 20 designs to go ahead with. That's a lot of designs to go ahead with. And this is all great because a lot of the designs are going to be are going to fail, like they're not gonna work, okay? A lot of people say it's every every seven designs you have one successful one. Now, I don't know how true that is, but the point is the more designs you have, the more chance you have of actually succeeding with this, okay? Day 11 is t-shirt creation. Now, that's not the same as design creation. T-shirt creation actually means going onto Teespring, going onto Redbubble, going onto Printful, whatever websites you're planning on launching your t-shirts on and actually uploading them, uploading the description, uploading the title, preparing them entirely like that. I've only given you one day for this because it really doesn't take that long. You could probably spend about three hours and have a page set up for every single one of your 20 designs. So literally it will only take a couple of hours. And then you've got day 12. Day 12 is going to be our marketing day. Again, it's just going to be one day. And the reason for this is I don't want you to create marketing material for all of the designs. I want you to create marketing materials for maybe five of the designs and then test out those five designs 
And once you've done that, then create marketing material for the next five designs and test out those designs. So when I create, when I, when I say marketing material, I mean create mock-ups in terms of photo mock-ups, video mock-ups, just like that Pinterest video that popped up just then. Create marketing images with the description for Facebook ads, meaning you might not just want a t-shirt just blank on a Facebook ad. You might want it to be with a background, with a person, with a prop, a whole, a whole um, catalog of t-shirts, whatever it may be create those mock-ups on day 12 okay and then i want you to create the ad copy okay the ad copy is the description that you're going to have so let's say you have a facebook ad and it's a newsfeed ad which is like a big ad that when you're scrolling down facebook you see the newsfeed ad the ad description is going to be above the image okay and that's going to be saying like are you uh, a dog lover do you have a dog blah 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 get the t-shirt now whatever it's going to say okay i'm not writing the ad copy now okay now that's day 12 day 13 and day 14 and by the way i'm really sorry i just have not i i just haven't been keeping up with this guy over here but you know what useless okay day 13 and day 14 i guess i might as well start now this is the last two days i put the, i put the first three days in and the last two days but basically day 13 and 14 is I want you to pick three designs, okay? Only three, three of the designs. And <clears throat> I want you to create Facebook ads for those three designs. And you should be targeting the, the, the targeting that you found earlier in your audience research, okay? So you should have your audience research here in this spreadsheet. And I want you to actually go and target the audiences that you've made. Now you can do it with a few different methods. I like the five by five by five method five times five times five, which is five ads, five different targeting and five dollars, okay? You can take it a step further and do five countries or five age groups, whatever you wanna do, but I recommend doing it with five ads. That way you're spending $25 to test one t-shirt. Within, after spending $25, test one t-shirt, you should see some results. If you're not seeing any sales at all, scrap that t-shirt, but that's what day 15 is about. And I know we've gone over a day, but it's vital. So that is what day 13 to day 14 is okay that's going to be testing ads so again if you do it with three different t-shirts you're creating 15 ads because it's five ads per t-shirt and you're spending a total of 75 dollars because of 25 25 and 25 okay 75 dollars is not that much money to test three t-shirts right and then you've got day 15 i know we're one day over quarantine but who are we kidding we're going to be stuck inside for months all right so so day 15 let's get let's go on day 15, I want you to look over the ad and see your results. Did you get any sales? Did you not get any sales? Did you get a, a lot of comments? Did you get a lot of likes? Did you get a lot of shares? Okay, I want you to try and think think through your ad and see whether or not you should keep it going. So if you got any sales, keep it going 100%. Okay, keep it going and even put more money into the ad. If you didn't get any sales, but you got a lot of shares, a lot of comments and a lot of likes, positive, then post then then keep it going for one more day just one more day okay if you didn't get many likes didn't get many shares didn't get many comments right then don't keep it going okay the most important aspect is the shares as well because the more shares they accumulate over time and a lot more people see your ad so if you've got a lot of shares then maybe keep the ad going for one more day but if you haven't then just pause that ad forget that t-shirt or maybe even forget that audience okay and move on the t-shirt might still be good, but the audience might not, okay? And then move on. And literally just do that for the next batch of t-shirts when you're ready, the next three, the next three, the next three, because you've got yourself 20 different designs that you could go ahead with. That is it really for the 14 plus one day quarantine for a print on demand business owner. I hope that made sense. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions regarding any of this stuff and I'll do my best to help you out. But as I said, I hope this made sense. It made sense in my head. So now, technically, you know how to start an Amazon business if you wanna watch yesterday's video. And you know how to start a print-on-demand business, both in 14 days. So over 30 days, you could have two successful businesses up and running. So I hope you like this. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'm so close to getting to 10,000 and I just wanna get there. Maybe I can try and get there by the end of this lockdown period. That will be quite a successful lockdown period for me if I'm able to hit 10,000 subscribers. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's. If I do one tomorrow, if not, I'll see you in the next days.
Hey, I want to give you four quick tips to be able to sell t-shirts slightly faster than maybe what you're selling now. But before I do, I want to tell you some cool videos that are actually coming on this channel. because I want to, I want to get you guys riled up and excited, so excited for what's to come with this YouTube channel. I'm currently creating videos or plans for videos uh, on creating Shopify stores for print on demand, creating Etsy stores for print on demand, and a whole creating an Instagram business with a Shopify store, the whole long process without spending any money on ads, the whole story case study. I've got all of these incredible videos in the works right now. And my most favorite one coming is a five part series on the business side of creating a print on demand business, but as well as the business side, everything. So five part series is finding niches, designing a product, doing the advertising, all of it. All of that is coming to this YouTube channel really, really soon. So if you haven't already subscribed, then now is a brilliant time to hit that subscribe button because there's just such awesome content coming out. And if you have subscribed, hit that bell notification so you can watch those videos first. And lastly, before I get into the four things that will help you get more sales, let me just ask you, let's try and get this video to 500 likes. I know that's pretty ballsy, that's a big ask, but let's see what we can do. If we can get this video to 500 likes, maybe I will do another video where I look at your t-shirts and I actually critique them and I tell you what I think, how you can improve them, what's wrong with them, why they're maybe not getting sales. But first, I wanna see if this video can get to 500 likes. So now now, without further ado, let's get on to this, the main part of this video, the four quick tips on how to get faster or more sales for your print on demand business. Tip number one, trends, right? Hot topics, current events. These are brilliant times to go and create a t-shirt. And no, I don't mean, you know, this pandemic coronavirus kind of t-shirt trends. I don't mean that. I personally don't feel it's so ethical to make money off of, you know, all of this just bad news but when i say trends i mean you know there are there, oh gosh there are so many trends for example a big well not this isn't a trend but it's a big thing coming up is father's day and i've spoken about this before father's day you should definitely take advantage of that and i know in a lot of my videos i talk about trying to create evergreen t-shirts but if we're talking about trying to get fast sales get quick sales get lots of sales like in a quick in a quick period of time, then hitting on trends, hitting on current events like Father's Day is a brilliant way to do this. And you can use websites like Google Trends, that is amazing. But m better than that, you've got just social media, you can look at Instagram, you can look at TikTok, you can see what's going viral, you've got YouTube trending, you've got so many of these different, you've got so many different places to see what is currently trending. Uh, do you remember Fidget Spinners? Do you remember, uh, what was it, the, the Pokemon Go app? Yeah. There are a lot of trends that happen all the time and there is absolutely no reason why you can't take advantage of those trends. Now, bear in mind, when if you do that, you might get a, a few a bursts of sales, but it's not gonna be evergreen. Okay, and that's not what this video is. This video isn't teaching you how to create evergreen designs that will hopefully make you money in years to come. It's just showing you how to make money here and now a, a very short period of time, right? Literally just hitting on a trend. So that's that's number one. Number two, your designs have got to be really, really, really good. Okay, I can't say really enough because the amount of designs that I see that are really subpar, they're not that good. A lot of the people who are messaging me on Instagram, I'm seeing the designs and I'm just like, there's so much improvement that can be made here. So have a look at some of these designs, right? These are insane. They're really, really good. They did not take them 20 minutes. They took them a long time. They either paid someone to do them. They probably used Photoshop, but like they are, they're just brilliant designs. Okay. They have actually had a lot of thought put into them. Now I'm not saying you need to use Photoshop. You've got things like Canva. You've got things like place it's mock up, um, design a t-shirt thing, which I'm going to do a video on later. But if you don't want to use Photoshop, you do, you do have other, areas, you can do five, you can pay someone. What my point is though, don't just create a design, send it to a friend and ask them if they think it's any good. Cause chances are they're probably gonna say to you, yeah, it's cool. They don't wanna tell you it's not good. Um, but like you know, what I did, I was brutally honest with you. And I said, if your design was crap or if your design wasn't crap and 
I want you to try and create the best designs possible because it makes a massive difference, especially nowadays. People realize when something has taken someone 10 or 15 minutes to make and they don't want to have anything to do with them. Show off your skills or show off someone's skills, right? Pay someone to make a good design, but make sure if you're selling something, a t-shirt or, or if you're doing print on demand with like pillows or socks or anything, make sure that they are really, really good designs. The third thing is using high quality mock-ups. Okay, you can pretty much create an entire Instagram channel just based off the mock-ups using Placeit. Okay, Placeit is a brilliant website. And I actually want to say, if you want me to create a full tutorial, nothing long, nothing crazy, not like this hour, two hour of tutorials, like 20 minutes maybe, uh, of, of how to use Placeit, why it's so good, how to create designs in it, and how to actually find good mock-ups that work with your you know, niche, then let me know in the comments down below because I do want to make a Placeit video for you. I just don't know if you guys want to see it. But Basically, mock-ups are a brilliant way to diversify you from everyone else. And I know a lot of people kind of realize that, oh, this is just a fake guy wearing a t-shirt. But on the other hand, there are a lot of people who want to see a model wearing the t-shirt because they can look at it and you know imagine what they would look like wearing this t-shirt based on what this person looks like, right? Based on the size and where it would fit and how it would fall, all that kind of stuff. So that's why I think mock-ups are really, really good. And not only that, the the library, right, on Placeit specifically, is so vast, you could literally create an entire Instagram channel just using different mock-ups, t-shirts, men, women, pillows, socks, duvets, whatever they may be, mugs, it's endless. iPhone cases, oh, okay, it's absolutely endless. And I do think by doing this, not only do you have an abundance of material and content you can use, especially if you're doing this the free methods, like building up an Instagram account, but I do think it will definitely add another dimension to your, you know, your social media campaigns and all these kind of things, rather than just post a t-shirt, plain t-shirt every single time over and over again. You post sometimes with a guy, sometimes with a girl, sometimes with two people, sometimes with a car in the background, sometimes here, sometimes there. You know, it kind of mixes the whole thing up. And sometimes you don't even need a t-shirt in any of your posts, but just subtle hints here and there. And it, it, it goes a long way, okay? It really goes a long way. It shows, it shows a level of professionalism that a lot of people aren't taking advantage of, okay? And just a quick tip, and I'll talk more about this in the Placeit um, tutorial if that's something you wanna see, is don't necessarily choose the most popular mock-ups that people are using because as weird as it sounds, if someone has seen this mock-up on someone else's t-shirt, they might be like, oh, this, this is a bit weird. I've seen this exact same picture, but with another t-shirt on, this seems a bit fake. So you wanna try and find those special like golden nugget mock-ups that people don't really use so much um, that kind of feel a bit more unique. And now finally, the fourth quick tip to try and get more sales faster. There's a lot of keywords in that right there. Um, to, try and get sales faster with your print on demand is upload your designs to as many platforms as possible. Why not? You know the saying, don't put your eggs in one basket. Well, don't put your t-shirt on one website. You've got, I've got a list here because you know, there's a lot of them, but you've got Etsy, Redbubble, Teespring, Amazon Merch, you've got Zazzle, you've got, basically you've got a lot. And you know, off the top of my head, I can't even remember half of them, but I'm sure there are at least 10 or maybe even 15 places that you could upload your designs to and you never know which one could gain traction, right? Could get you sales, and there's no harm in putting it in lots in lots of places. Let's just quickly recap, all right? The, the first one was you have got to try and hit some trends and like life events. Second one, you have got to make incredible designs. Don't skimp out on designs. And just to quickly add with this, you can do text-only designs like this one, right? This is a text-only design. It doesn't need tons of graphical, you know, miracle work, but it still works. And you can see the fonts they've used, the way they've used them, the positioning of them still makes it look very, very good. The third one was make sure to use mock-ups and not the most popular mock-ups, but, you know, mock-ups. And the fourth one is upload your design to so many different websites that you lose count, basically. Those are the four quick tip ideas. Um, and before I continue, I just want to say, um, have you yet checked out my Instagram account? I'm now posting daily business, like, you know, tips, motivation, that kind of stuff on my Instagram account. I have built this huge, cool theme and it's really exciting. I'm posting little snippet, 60 second videos along with the post every single day to my Instagram. So go and check that out. It'll be the link in the description or you can just go to at shimmymorris1. If you want to follow me, that would mean the world. But uh, if you don't want to follow me, that, that's also okay. But definitely go and check it out because I feel like you would uh, really like the stuff and maybe hopefully it will motivate you. 
And uh, yeah, moving on. I know these four ideas seem pretty simple. And look, if you know them, then brilliant. That's really good. You should be uh, using them. And this wasn't going to be some sort of super complicated, in-depth, you know, crazy, oh my gosh, four tips. This is a magic money-making tip. Ah, they, they don't exist, right? There's no get-rich-quick schemes. These four things will still require work. And even if you know them, they're still useful. And maybe you just needed a bit of a push to go and take advantage of them. But like I said, there are some incredible videos coming up on this channel, really, really cool ones. And just to remind you, the five part print on demand business creation series, which is going to blow your minds clean out of your head. It's going to be pretty good. So <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you can watch those videos first, because a lot of them will be action based and you want to take advantage of them before thousands of other people go and see them. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. And look, I hope you like these four quick tips. If you have any more quick tips or any more things you want me to create videos on, let me know in the comments down below. And again, let's try and get this video to 500 likes so I can make one of those review videos of your t-shirts. Thank you so much for watching. This is Thursday. Today is Thursday. I post Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. So hopefully I'll see you on Sunday's video at 5 p.m. Thanks for watching.